Space station was flying over the Pacific. Now it's uh, South America. Maybe uh, uh, by watching outside from the space station, the change of the lighting lighting uh, condition is very dramatic. And uh, it's kind of a uh, uh, very, uh, maybe a scary moment uh, because uh, space station is flying so fast and uh, it's like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but the, the lighting is changing dramatically and the landscape uh, beneath the space station is changing also dramatically. And uh, right now, Nick is holding a camera with big, a gigantic uh, lens and uh, waiting for the, the good lighting for the photo shooting. Uh, now you can see on the right hand side, we see uh, some uh, maybe crowds. We are over South America. Must be uh, some ground on the light on the light uh, screen. Maybe some mountain. I'm not sure yet. Well, 19, 90 seconds to go. Commanding is ready and uh, right. Director is also uh, starting uh, his preparation, the last step. Thirty seconds to go. moment of pride for us all Nepalese. You should be proud to be Nepalese today. We have one more before. So we have another good introducing to the Korean Supreme.
And now we can clearly see the earth on the both screens. Seems like the astronaut on board the also ready for the program. We are so happy and uh, very proud of supporting this mission. And uh, uh, if if uh, you could please give us. Uh, Okay, here she is. Just wanted to uh, pass on some technical details and then some words. Uh, first off, the uh, the second deployment. The first deployment happened on time. The second deployment uh, was about uh, four seconds in advance of your um, in advance of your call, which uh, you had uh, warned us of. And then uh, I'm going to download these photos all to SSC 17. Uh, good pictures. Thank you. I just want to take the uh, opportunity to congratulate the Chimera Sri Lanka and the Pauline for the successful deployment of these CubeSats. Uh, specifically, for Sri Lanka and Nepal, it being the first satellite from your country, uh, it's a, a monumental uh, achievement. And uh, I think today's deployment is just another shining example of how the Education, Science and Technology in Nepal, uh, His uh, Excellency, uh, Mr. Okan, please. And uh, if, you don't, uh, if you don't mind, uh, uh, we are broadcasting uh, on the YouTube. So, uh, yeah, uh, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to witness the historic event of the deployment of Nepal Sat-1. First of all, I would like to congratulate the entire team members and um, mentors of Board's three project from QTEC, JAXA officials, and everybody involved to materialize this project. My special thanks are goes to Vice Chancellor of NAST, 
Dr. Sunil Babu Sest, for winning the project on behalf of Nepal, and Mr. Avas Maske and Mr. Hari Ram Sest for successfully participating in the Bird 3 project. Though small in size, Nepal is sat one that carries the flag of Nepal and logo of NAST, is a first of its kind to represent Nepal in space. I am confident that the project has brought QTEC and JAXA nearer to NAST for future collaborations. I will leave no stone unturned as the Minister of Education, Science and Technology for any attempts of future cooperation between Nepal and Japan. I strongly believe that the project has further strengthened the historic friendship between Nepal and Japan. And I hope it will be continued in the days to come. Thank you. Thank you, His Excellency. Next, uh, we'd like to have a speech.